have the 2017 Ford Fusion Titanium in the premium white. We have these fabulous wheels that are exclusive to the Titanium. This is a Titanium Eco Boost. Um, four wheel drive is an option. Um, it has backup camera and sensor. Um, this Ford is famous for its cap with fuel tank. You just stick it in and it fills up. So we have keyless entry to unlock. Just grab with the key, keys by you. Just grab on the door handle. The car will unlock to lock. Just push the button. This, this car does come featured with a lock, a lock, and a remote start. In order to activate it, you want to press the, the lock button two times, and then double tap on this. Then to the rear office, hit on it again. And then, this last key down here opens the trunk. I have some things in there, but it's a very large trunk space. Um, this car is not mine though. It does come from budget rental car. Only problems we have with it is that the tires run flat. But anyway, let's take a look at the interior. Again, if you don't feel like if you don't feel like getting in, if you don't feel like wanting to use the keys or the door handle, let's say you don't have the keys with you, you can use the door pad, this key code, that when you enter in the code, right here, demonstrate it for you. When you enter the code, interior of the Ford Fusion Titanium, this is not the top of the line, um, they have the S, S, E, Titanium, Sport, and then Platinum. Um, you have Sync 3, um, for 2016, for 2017 and 16, they got rid of all the touch pressurized things, now it's all buttons. And most things are uh, done on the touch screen. It's push button start. Um, we have a rotary gear knob and an electric parking brake. Um, we have one USB port here with one 12, 12 volt outlet. Um, in the glove box, we have another USB port with a 12 volt outlet. This car does come equipped with ambient lighting. Which means that from the touch screen, you can choose what color to see right now. Um, when you push the start button without pushing on the brake. We're going to go ahead and turn that up. Okay. You can see these should be down there. Almost everything is electrical. Um, here we have our sync 3 system uh, you control all copyright you control audio um, your climate your phone you also control your connectable apps and your settings that has 911 assist where if you get in an accident the car will call 911 for you um, you have Wi-Fi connections, Apple CarPlay preferences, Android Auto preferences, vehicle and ambient lighting. That means that like, you can change the the code. sound. Our CD player, um, um, auto max and your defrosters, heated seats, uh, dual zone temperature, and then here's your fan speed. And then here's your other temperature. Then you have your heated seats for the passengers. The uh, the air and heat conditioning system. If you want heat, 
all you have to do is don't press the EC. Um, but here in North Carolina, we kind of need that EC. And then here you have our hazards. You have a tilt, telescopic, tele, te, manual, te, tilting steering wheel. Um, you have your cruise control on, off, your set, and we said this has adaptive cruise control, so this is the set how many car lengths away. Um, you have your resume button and your cancel button. This, this keypad over here is to control this over here. So you can see I have trip one which is 511 miles, 511.8 uh, miles. We get, we average around 28 miles to the gallon. For trip two, 24 miles to the gallon. That's for way longer. Okay. Zero, okay. You can also go to kilometers. And then it tells you your tire pressure, your RPM gauge, and your to the And then over here you have your radio settings and entertainment and phone. And you have to basically just to tune your radio. And then here you have your lights. Um, here you have your but a button for the trunk. Um, you have your light bright. You have your um your gauge brightness and your gauge voltage. You have your fog lights and then your regular lights. Okay. Here you have your mirror controls. Here is to pop up your your engine bay. You have the brake and the gas. Um, another feature about the fusion, let's turn it off so that we don't drain the battery to turn it off. Another feature about the Fusion is that the locks don't actually pop up and down. It's just in a little LED light. Like if I lock the door, you're the lock. And then if I cover it, you can see that red LED light. But then when I unlock the door, the LED light goes away. Okay, so um, here you have your um, um, unlock and lock button. And then you have your seat present, your memory seating. Um, here also you have paddle shifters, you have paddle shifters, and you also have a sport. Um, you have your wind wipe, you have your wind wiper controls, and your, um, turn signals, and your turn signals and lights. Okay, that covers about the front. Oh, the glove box. It's very big. You just can see the colors in It has a security code. Yeah, can see. Cleans up its floor. Go ahead and close the door. Has a nice solid thunk. Let's go in the back seat, shall we? Okay, so in the back seat, I am five foot three. Um, I have a lot of, I have, uh, I have a lot of headroom left. Um, my seat touches the, my head touches the armrest. Uh, in the driver's position, um, in my, in the driver's position, I have plenty of legroom. There's also these pockets back here. Um, door handle um, up door to hang your hand on. Door. I like the design of the door release. It acts on one piece, but it's a little quick to do it. Um, you have your down up windows. You have AC vents, which is good here in North Carolina because it's not as hot. Okay, then you have your center armrest with two cup holders no middle storage though and back to this cloth these are leather seats okay 
It's going to the middle seat. In the middle seat, I have about maybe a little bit less headroom. Um, you do have a light back here. You do have a 60-40 sculpting split. So this is 60-40. And then, well that's the 40 side. And then this is the 60 side of these two. Okay. Yeah. Other thing you need to watch out for is when folding the seats, make sure you tuck them in there. So. To see it previously laid, you have your LED backlight. These are, um, I think these are LEDs or they're halogens. Most likely halogens. You have your, your two end sensors and then your two main sensors. You have your backup camera and your license plate. Um, this is a titanium EcoBoost Fusion. Or Floor fusion titanium equal. Open the trunk. You can put A, push the button from the inside. B, put up there. Or the funnest way is have it lift up for So I think this is how I've been my review of the 2017 Ford Fusion Titanium.